each ear and two in the back of the head. Alan has undergone all the pre-op testing for general health and ability to tolerate surgery. She has been approved for the surgery. Alan has already been put on the operating room table, which places her in a reclined position while supporting her head and neck with a brace. She will be in a monitored anesthetic condition, which means she will be sleepy, relaxed, and maybe even a bit goofy, but she can be brought back quickly to a state of relative normalcy. I smell daffodils. A general anesthetic takes several hours to wear off, so we don't want to use that. We'll start by shaving her hair. Uh, shaving. Daddy. Yeah. Look. Oh, yeah. Grab the hair clippers from the two bar. Hair clippers. Yeah. Hair clippers there. Now that we've selected a safe trajectory on the monitor, we need to map the same trajectory to the patient's head. In order to do this, we'll use non-sterile probes to register the position of the fiducials with the GPS system. This information will I be used know, to determine where to put the incision marks. less than one millimeter so we are in good shape it's time to mark the scalp where we will make the incisions we will make one mark on each side since the left side of her brain controls the right side of her body and the right side of her brain controls the left side of her body Now we need to finish prepping the patient. The scalp has many sweat glands and grows a lot of bacteria, so scrubbing with betadine solution is important and has to be repeated several times. You do the first scrubbing with betadine. I'll repeat these steps two more times. We need to inject a local anesthetic to make sure that the patient stays comfortable during surgery. Remember, she is awake for parts of this surgery. Inject a local anesthetic around the head and where the incision will be. We will clean the scalp two more times using DuraPrep solution, making sure to scrub the fiducials. to establish the sterile field. We both need to change our gloves and put on sterile surgical gloves. From this point forward, anything touching the scalp must be sterile. We need to put sterile towels around the scalp to further protect the patient from infection. I'll hold the towels in place with I.O. Ban, a betadine-infused sticky plastic. Next, we'll put a layer of I.O. Ban over the whole scalp. Another large plastic drape is put over the scalp and shoulders. At this point, we do a final check of the identity of the patient, the procedure to be performed, and any information that needs to be transmitted to the team as a whole. Whee! Now we are ready to begin the surgery. Take the scalpel and make an incision where we marked early. Ew. Daddy, this yeah. is gross. Look, 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 wait. Daddy, look. Yeah, I see. Wow. Pew, pew. Your hands are as steady as a giant oak. Now use the bovine. 